A botnet can create an enormous flood of traffic to one site. Thousands of computers, all repeatedly trying to access the site several times every second, possibly for hours or even days on end. The website will be overrun with traffic, and most ordinary users' requests will never get through. The site becomes unavailable. It's an attack known as a distributed denial of service, DDoS. Jack, if someone's got a grudge against a particular company, then I can understand why they DDoS their website. But there's also money to be made in DDoS, isn't there? There's massive money to be made. The, the possibilities for extortion is huge. And what cyber criminals are doing here, they're getting into contact with websites and threatening them with DDoS attacks. And the loss of trade for that website is very substantial. So um, a lot of these websites just pay up to avoid this DDoS attack. And you were saying that gambling websites are particular targets? Gambling websites and all kinds of high-traffic websites that generate a lot of revenue and rely on the website to be online are a massive target for this kind of attack. OK, well, Jack's security company have kindly allowed us to perform a DDoS on their backup website. You can see the site at the moment on this screen over here. It's running fine at the moment. It won't be in a few minutes' time. OK, Jack, let's uh, get the DDoS running. Again, it's very easy to set the task up. We could even select the times and dates for the attack to start and stop. As the number of bots which have received the DDoS instruction began to climb, we were interested to see how many of our bots we'd actually need to make the site too slow to use. All in all, we performed the DDoS test three times, each time recording the traffic that the site received. You can see here how quickly the spike rises as more and more bots join the attack. Within a few minutes, the site takes several minutes to respond, and when it does, its graphics won't load completely. Amazingly, it took only 60 machines to overload the site's bandwidth. That's 60 computers on decent speed broadband connections capable of effectively taking a medium-sized business offline. What would happen when thousands of bots got involved? We decided not to find out.